ever notice squiggly lines or just dots in your eyes? But every single time you focused on it, they disappeared. Yeah, that happened to me before. But honestly, it scared me the first time it happened. Hey everyone, today I want to talk about odors. What they are, how they are caused, and what you can do to prevent it. Floaters are gel-like substances or collagen. They are inside your eyes of the vitreous. Your vitreous are just gel-like parts of your eyes and as you age they become more liquid form and when you start to see more floaters, that's how you know that you are aging and once floaters become more frequent, you can tell you are aging. So to summarize everything on what floaters is, as you age, your vitreous parts of your eyes start to become more liquid and floaters start to appear because there are clump like gels that start to appear in your eyes. For me, my personal experience with floaters, when I started to develop cataract and glaucoma at a young age, around 12 years old with cataract, glaucoma 14 years old, I started to notice these floaters. How did I notice them? Well, I looked on the board as class and every time I saw something there, I thought it was something I needed to take notes. But when I focused on it, I realized it kept disappearing and I started questioning why I kept looking away. So that's when I had to go to the eye doctor because I needed new prescriptions anyway. And I asked them about what is this thing that kept going away every time I looked at it. And they explained to me about floaters during the time that they told me I had cataract and needed the cataract surgery. So that's how I discovered about floaters in my eye. So what you wanna do to really treat floaters is you really wanna have protective glasses because UVs is something that is very harmful for your eyes. So just wear sunglasses or any anti-reflective coating for your glasses. Eat a healthy diet, take your vitamins like omega-3s, eat some leafy greens. Floaters in general are not really harmful, they are harmless because when you do have floaters, they just mean you're aging and parts of your eyes, the vitreous, is just becoming less hard and it's becoming more liquidish and all the collagen clumps are building up and that's why you see all these squiggly lines and dots and you are unable to focus on them. However, if you start to see rapid floaters appear, light sensitivity, or any just random shadows, this is when you have retinal detachment. As I repeat, retinal detachment. And this is a severe case where you need to go to the eye doctor because retinal detachment is a severe case. So please make sure if you do have retinal detachment, or you seem like you have the signs of retinal detachment, please see your doctor immediately because this is not something you wanna take lightly. And as I said again, with floaters, it is harmless. So don't worry about floaters. If you have glaucoma, you're gonna start seeing floaters often. And if you're in the older ages, around your 30, 40, 50s, you'll start to notice floaters starting to appear more frequently. And if you already do have any eye conditions or eye issues, you'll start to see floaters as well with cataracts. You'll notice you'll start to see your lens start bogging up or floaters start to appear and you need to replace your lenses with cataract surgery. So what can you really do to prevent floaters? Well, you can't really prevent floaters. You can only just treat it with the sunglasses as I mentioned and AR reflective coating and manage your diet. Take supplements like omega-3s and take leafy greens because floaters are just a sign of that we are aging. But there are times when if you start to have retinal detachment again, that's when you need to go visit the ER or your ophthalmologist or optician. So please make sure to pay attention and all the signs about your eye. And to really notice if you have floaters or not, just look at something lighter, like a white background or the sky that's blue, because floaters are tend to be more blackish. So if you look at something white or blue, if you're looking at the sky right now and you start to see floaters, you'll know that you have floaters. So that's a tip if you want to know if you do have floaters, just look at something light. So if you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody else that you believe needs educational tips on floaters and what they can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a thumbs up 
and leave a comment if you believe that this video helped you or resonated with you in any sort of way. Thank you.